All right, we now want to take you beyond Kenya's borders to Sudan, where thousands of protesters have remained on the streets of Sudan's capital, Khartoum, and around the country following a military takeover. Coup leader General Abdel Fattah dissolved civilian rule and detained top government officials on Monday. The Sudan coup has drawn global condemnation, with tens of people reportedly killed so far. Let's get more details from Elfas Lagat. Streets of Khartoum filled with protesters agitating against military takeover. Sudan's military seized power from a transitional government Monday, and the subsequent clash between soldiers and protesters has reportedly led to close to 150 people sustaining injuries and tens of people losing their lives. Military General Abdel Fattah al Buhan dissolved the military civilian rule that had been established on a transition basis to guide the process of achieving full democratic rule following the overthrow of autocratic rule of Omar al-Bashir in an uprising two years ago. General Abdel announced a state of emergency, saying armed forces needed to take control of Sudan to protect security and safety of its people. Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok and other officials within the cabinet were seized and detained at undisclosed location. Meanwhile, the Sudan coup has drawn global condemnation. African Union Chairman Moussa Faki, in a statement, said the chairman of African Union calls for the immediate resumption of consultations between civilians and military and the release of all arrested political leaders and strict respect of human rights. End of quote. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said there must be full respect for the constitutional charter to protect the hard-won political transition. The UN will continue to stand with the people of Sudan. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who is part, said the U.S. rejects the dissolution of the transitional government in Sudan by security forces and calls for its immediate restoration without preconditions. Alpha Slagat, Citizen TV.